Perfect. Forgot. I just went. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. All right. Welcome back to another episode of All About That Drama. Yeah. And we have a new guest, Claire. Do you want to introduce yourself? Even though I just said your name. Welcome back to <laughs> All About That Drama, where we talk about everything drama school related. Hold on, Claire hasn't introduced herself. Yeah, but we didn't introduce the podcast. Everyone knows what this podcast is. What do you mean? Mm. Drama school related, podcast related, acting related, and industry related. Industry related. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so go on if you can say that. Yourself. I am Claire Dewig. Yep. Nice. You're Claire Dewig. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> what are you? Second year? Second year? Um, are you second year actor and I am 22 from Doncaster. You're a northern. Hey. Northerner. Yes, I like it. So we'll get straight into it. So let's talk about your experience leading up to drama school. How did you get into acting and stuff? Oh, okay. This is a cool one. Um, I feel like I literally should have thought about this question, but it's so complicated. So when I was at school, um, I didn't really like any of my other lessons apart from drama. And then I took drama for GCSE. And then I was like, okay, I quite like this. And honestly, it wasn't till we did one performance and then it got to the second performance in year 11, because in the first performance I was so embarrassed I actually didn't really like it. <laughs> and then we did the second performance and I was like, oh, I actually really like this. Like, I was like, this is the only thing I feel like education-wise that I enjoy. What, what shows did you do? Oh, so we did the first one, I, it was Shakers, and I love Shakers, but like my performance was like shocking. I just felt so embarrassed. And then we had to, we had to do a devised one. Oh. oh no! And it was so like looking back now, it was so embarrassing because there's this whole scene with this poor boy, and he was so shy. Where we had to like try and pretend as if they were, we were going in for a snog, so we we're both like this. <laughs> um, and then what? What? I think we did one more. Yeah, and when when we did um, four four eight, uh, the one by Sarah Kane, which is quite a heavy one. Uh, but then from then on, I just was like found the passion for it. I started going to like PQA on Saturdays and then from then on I was kind of like this is Is that like a drama decision. training thing? Yeah, it was like a Saturday school. I mean I started quite late, so everyone usually starts quite lo- young. I think I started about seventeen, eighteen, so that, I was quite late. That in is the game. quite late. That is like a couple of years before drama school, isn't it? So. Oh my god, yeah. Um I think I only really started realising I wanted to do it about sixteen, seventeen. So then I was like, actually I need to do something about this. Yeah. 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 Well, what did you do for like GCSEs and like college? Uh, I did French. We was made to do that. We was made to do geography, French, and then we got the choice. So I did drama and music, and I was really bad at music. Like <laughs> really, like the theory. I remember one time. The theory is awful. It's so hard. Like did the you thing do music? is. Yeah, I did music oh. at GCSEs. Did you play an instrument? Uh, yeah, I used to play clarinet and saxophone. No way. Yeah, that's mad. I remember one time the teacher was like showing examples of what um like answers and she blurred mine out and just put fail <laughs> and I was like oh, no. <laughs> that hurt. That's rough. I remember that, that for, must have been bad. In no in the actual exam it was like what is section B called and I put B section because I literally just had no idea. I was like I literally have so rubbish at the theory. That's brilliant. <laughs> so, bad. so did you did you go to college? Yeah, I went to sixth form. So in, it was like in the same school for yeah like yeah. Yeah. Did you like drama in that? Or? I did. Drama is always like a weird one because it's like so intense and I literally loved it so much. And then the theory side of it was always like slightly hard, like the essays and that. Yeah. It's always quite hard. But yeah, I just I just loved the acting side of it. I thought it was so fun. And even though like I did performing arts, um, is like a B tech, um, at A level, and I thought that was so fun. And even all the research, like I remember we had to research like and actor's life and understand how to do like the taxes and like that more what is it like practical side of it which i thought was quite fun mm. back in the day yeah did you Definitely do like a, a year six play in like primary school you must have done um we once did one play and in year two and i just cried and cried <laughs> i like literally i was like no not for me <laughs> I got told off and then I just cried and cried and I was like, not for me. And now you're here. And now I'm here. So how was your like process then? Um, so what made you want to like carry on in terms of going to drama school? Because obviously you didn't have to go to drama school yeah. to carry on with acting. So what made you want to... Uh, I literally liked nothing else in school. And I remember like there was a time where I was thinking, what can I do? And I was like, 
I kept coming up with really random ideas and I was like, at one point it was a midwife and then I thought, no, I'm not doing that because <laughs> I couldn't deal with pressure. And then I remember thinking, well, I'll be a nurse and I thought, no, can't do that either because I'd probably pass out. And then <laughs> it was like a constant cycle of like, I know I would always look at things like for a while I was like, right, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be a drama teacher. And then I was like, no, oh, like I love the acting side of it. Uh, too much it was it's almost like a list of me ticking things off like being like no no and just slowly working my way down to mm. acting which i'm really glad i found mm. i like you said working your way down to acting <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's like the lowest <laughs> yeah. i didn't even talk to that i'm like oh, you know working way up to actually i'm like oh whoopsie so how yeah i'll be coming an actor that's yeah. the only thing <laughs> you know what right doctor's gone can't do that right I suppose we've only got acting is, that, is there one thing left <laughs> yeah. oh i've got to go to this now um, so how was your like process in terms of finding drama schools and your audition process for PPA? Um, so it's actually really strange audition process. I think now looking back, because at PQA, um, um, the my Saturday thing, my teacher said, "Oh, what about PPA?" And she said it to me, and I just completely forgot about it. So when I was auditioning, I remember thinking I wanted quite close to home. So I went for Manchester Met. That was so that's quite home, close to home, and then. One of my cover teachers went to Royal Welsh, and even though that's not close to him, I thought apply for there. And I remember everyone was like, "You're not, you're not going to get in the first year. You're like, you, you just won't." And I was like, "Okay, that means I don't care then," which was quite nice. And I remember doing my first audition, and it was at Man Met, and I got up there, and I just did this like I remember I learned it on the train. I learned it on the train. This while is you while you were going to it while I was going at the Shakespeare. So I knew the Shakespeare monologue, and I went and I went. And I learned the Shakespeare, uh, and I just did it, and I didn't care. And I remember getting home, and a few days later, finding out I got a recall. So I was like, "Oh my god!" Like buzzing, buzzing. And then I went, and I completely ballsed it up, like completely. Oh. It went so wrong. What I happened? Like, I just, I, I think I just remember being like, I remember I stood up, and he said, "How old are you?" And he went, "Sit down." Like as soon as he found out I was eighteen, oh. he went, "Sit down." So now I was there, like. Ooh. I can't believe he's just done that. <laughs> so I was like, oh, spite of hell. I see you. Like, see my monologue, but like, it was such an attitude. And then, and then actually, from that, I remember I didn't get in anywhere. And I was like, well, what I'll do is obviously I have to take a gap year. I'll do, I'll just work. I had a job in the local theatre. I was like, I'll just work for a year. And then I got a call from Arden. And they were like, we noticed that, you know, you're not going anywhere in September. Do you want to come to an audition? We've got one place left. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. Again, got nothing to lose. And again, on the train, I didn't read the email properly. And it <laughs> said, you need to pick a Shakespeare from our list. And I hadn't. So on the train, I was reading it. And I was trying what to learn options? it. It was something like Phoebe, Twelfth Night. I just remember seeing the first one, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. And I saw Phoebe. Is that what you did? Phoebe, Twelfth Night. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And I remember in the audition, I was doing it. And I forgot it. And I was going, I was like, doing the night. No, no, I did gonna real. And I pr- pronounced the name gonorrhea. I pronounced the name gonorrhea. I went, so I'm doing gonorrhea. And they were like, what do you mean gonorrhea? And I was like, that one. And then I did this speech. And then I got to the point and I went, I was in the speech and I just went, yeah, but it's gone. I forgot it. And he went, no worries, just just take it back from the start. So I did it again. And then I got the same bit and I went, yeah, but it's gone again, to be honest with you. Um, And then they offered me the foundation year. They were like, okay, we're not ready. We know you're not ready for the thing. Like, do you want to do a foundation year? And at the time I was like, I want to take a gap year. Mm. I want to just um, like kind of really think it like, I knew I wanted it, but I was like. So if you want to become like a midwife before. Yeah, I thought, you know what? I need to be a doctor and then I'll work my way around eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I need to take time out to like really like, because obviously you know it's a hard career. Mm. And I thought it's so easy to be swept up. I feel like at school and be like, yeah, I love this all and not think about it. Then when I took that gap year and worked, like that passion became like sol- solidified, and I was like, "This is it." Mm. Yeah. Like, you, you realize that you don't want to work like that for your rest of your life. Yeah. You want to yeah. like a full follow your passion. Thing. Yeah, like I, the rat race. That's it. Isn't there that saying that it's like once you find a job you love, you like you never work a day yeah. in your life. That kind of like Conf- that was by Confucius. 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 What's that mean? He's a uh, philosopher. He said oh, that. Did oh, oh, yeah. I was a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought you were just saying, I'm Confucian. Yeah, I, I, I am Confucian. the way you said it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone wants to avoid the rat race. Yeah. So you applied for um, that, and then what happened in like the like the following year then for the auditions? 
so I uh, obviously auditioned again and um, I can't remember, I think that's it. I did Lipper and I got offered the foundation at Lipper the next year and I really loved Lipper actually. I really got a good feeling about it. But unfortunately, um, it's not funded. You have to fund it yourself. Really? Yeah. So like, unfortunately, I was like, well, I've not, you know, I've not got the facilities for that. <laughs> big, um, man. big man. No, I've got the facilities for that big man. man. <laughs> um, so I was like, there's no, there's no choice. And then I realised, I was like, I do not want to work another year. Like I was like, I need to be doing acting. Like this is, I've gone too long without it. So I actually reapplied for the foundation I got offered from Arden the last year because I thought, you know what, I may as well. Um, and I got it. So I was like, brilliant, doing the foundation at Arden, which was brilliant. Like the, the tutor, Kerry there, she was just, her knowledge is insane. And she was brilliant. And like, she really like, I feel like everything made sense from then on. And, and mm. I feel like it really, I started to like have an actor mindset of like actually understanding the industry more. As I feel like when I was younger, I was kind of like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, you just auditions. want to be like on screen famous. Like, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, I'll do whatever. And then... I did another round of auditions, obviously that year, and um, Guildhall was like my dream school at the time. I remember I got a recall for Guildhall, and I remember being like, oh, "This could be it! Like this could be it!" <laughs> and um, they asked me in the audition why I wanted to go to Guildhall, and I said because I really fancy Daniel Craig. <laughs> Hey, that's a good enough, you know. <laughs> Is that a reason to get into I know, one of their school, that. though? They just went, oh, okay. And then what? it got worse. <laughs> Did he go there? Yeah. That was, it got a lot worse from then on. I don't, and then they said, what do you, you know, what, what do you do outside of drama school? It's nothing to do with acting. And I was like, great. I volunteer with kids. Going to blow their minds away with this one. And I just went, I love kids. <laughs> I really love kids. <laughs> and what was the response? And to then that? I went, it can it I went, not like that. I just <laughs> love kids. I think you made it worse by saying not like that. Yeah, I, don't I don't think they thought that at it's all. It's because they just let me wallow in silence. So I was just oh, like right. speaking and then they all just went, mm. mm-hmm, And then yeah. usually it's like a seven like a week period, you won't hear back. I heard back the next day. <laughs> so it was no. a strong no. <laughs> so that was so a very strong no. Was, so you, so you've had good audition pro- uh, processes and you yeah. know, experience. <laughs> you, you like kids a bit too much. I, do you know what's funny? I don't even like kids. And I just, you know when you try to really impress me, you think, all right, I'll tell them, I'll tell them I get on with kids because every drama school is going to love that. And yeah, it backfired. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, really backfired. It really backfired. Um, so how did it go for PPA then? So then obviously I got that no and then I had one recall left and it was Royal Welsh and then the recall was a no. Um, and I remember sitting because I was, I was living in Manchester at the, that time and I thought like I was sat there and, um, I didn't have a job at the time because I'd just finished my foundation and I thought the only option I've got is to go back to Doncaster and work for another year and I was like like it, it sounds silly but there was it I literally had a feeling I was like this isn't it I was like I was like I know that there's something gonna come and it sounds literally like I'm lying but that was honestly the truth I remember on the phone to someone I think it was my mates and I went I was like I, kn- I know this isn't it I was like I, kn- I know there's something here that I'm gonna find I was like I just feel it and my uh, course leader, Kerry, she went, what about PPA? Like, PPA has got a really good reputation. It's got a really good alumni. And she was like, you've got nothing to lose. And I thought, do you know what? You're right. And actually one of my friends who was in Mantra at the time had just gotten into PPA and he was like, you know, do it. It'll be fun. We'd, we could go together. Um, so I did it. And um, then I got like an email saying, hi, we would like to see you for an interview. And I thought, okay, then. And it was with our current course leader and the head of PPA, and I remember, I think it's always funny in interviews, because you're just your best, you're not you, are you? No, you're, you're like, just no. like you try to act like someone, <laughs> yeah. someone you know, I, I, it's a perfect so person of society. I like kids. Yeah. Not like that. <laughs> no, no. Not like that. I just had experience to get better now. Yeah, <laughs> luckily, I remember, responses. I kept cool, calm, and collected. I think, do you know what is actually funny? For the first time, for the, this, this audition, I did not care. Like, I think because of the ease, I was like, do you know what? I've literally got nothing to lose. I kind of accepted at this point that I was going to have to move back home. Um, I remember just sitting in the audition and like, you know, usually you get your adrenaline. You're like, oh my God. Mm. I remember sitting there and they're like, so who do you like? And I was like, oh, I like Maxine Peake. She's a brilliant act. Like, so relaxed. Mm. So Did you relaxed. Do it, it was online. Oh, it was online. All right. Um, it was on like Zoom. So I was, right. I, was sat, I was sat in like my room and I was just... I was like, yeah, I was like so chill. And I remember 
about an hour later they sent me an email offering me a like offering me the place and I, I swear to god I just looked at it and went <laughs> I carried on watching TV cool. <laughs> I was like I think because at that point like I was so like used to like the disappointment which you obviously have to be and it's good to be in mm. a way I think I was like so it was so anticlimactic for me mm. like all I hear is stories being like when I got into drama school I did this and I celebrated that this and I literally just turned put it down watched carried on I was like, yes, I'm actually going in. Yeah, carried on watching Benidorm. Yeah. 